Jeff Little here, Regional Pro Staff Director with Wilderness Systems Kayaks. I'm here with fellow pro staffer Callie Shumway. And in this Paddling.net video, we're going to cover how to choose the right kayak for your fishery. Kayak fishing offers an endless variety of species and a diverse array of places to catch them. Make sure you ask yourself the right questions. Make sure you correctly match the kayak to your specific fishery and needs. With so many choices of fishing kayaks on the market today, it's important to narrow down uh, your choices in terms of really two things. You're going to look at the length of your kayak and also the width. Um, we're going to start here with Callie in her boat. This is a Wilderness Systems Tarpon 100. Go ahead and tell us, Callie, some of the waters that you're fishing. I, uh, I mostly fish rivers when I was first trying to figure out what kind of kayak I wanted. I'm a small angler, so I decided to go with this kayak because it's a 10 foot and it's easily to maneuver in the river. And I also like it because it's only about 55 pounds for the weight, so for transporting, carrying it by myself, it's a lot easier. And also, uh, for my truck, I have a six foot bed and I wanted a kayak that was a little bit shorter and easy to just put in any vehicle. Great. So, as we have these, these kayaks laid out here, they're in increasing length and basically, you know, the shorter kayaks are going to be much more maneuverable as you move towards the end. There I have a Tarpon 140. I have that on, out on the bay. That's going to be a much faster kayak. But let's go, let's go one by one. Another important feature that you want to consider, a really important question that you want to ask yourself is, are you going to stand in the kayak? This is a um, Wilderness Systems Ride 115. A much wider kayak that allows you to, to elevate and stand, which allows you to fish a, a greater area by sight fishing and, and seeing where you're making your cast. You can do the same thing with a little bit lighter package. If you move to the, this boat is a Commander 120, also a very good boat to stand up in, but also very similar to, the, to her 10 foot boat. This is 11 and a half, we're moving to a 12 foot boat. It's getting a little bit faster, uh, but also, you know, plenty maneuverable enough. This 12-foot sit-on-top kayak is in the middle of our lineup, and it, it's a good blend of both speed and maneuverability. Next, we have a Wilderness Systems Ride 135. We're getting a little bit longer, and we're increasing in speed, but we also have a nice wide kayak, so it, it is good for those standing applications. Now, certainly our most popular fishing kayaks are the sit on tops, which is nice because they're self bailing. But let's not overlook sit in kayaks. The reason you might want to go with a sit in kayak for, for kayak fishing is because there's just more less plastic here, which makes it a lightweight kayak. And that gives you extra speed. This is a 14 foot, it's a Pungo 140. It's a very fast boat on the water. The last boat in our lineup, this is my boat that I had out on the Chesapeake Bay um, three days ago catching rockfish and it's a Tarpon 140. I'm actually anxiously awaiting the delivery of a Tarpon 160, a 16 foot sit on top kayak. And really the advantage of these boats, these longer, skinnier, narrower boats, is that they're faster. Now, not everyone needs to go fast, but out on the Chesapeake Bay, or even in saltwater applications in, in the oceans or in larger reservoirs, uh, speed is a real advantage. Um, in my case, I was working schools of, of Menhaden that would pop up and you could see all the, the birds you know, in the distance working them from the top and I knew that there were striped bass underneath them. So they'd pop up in one area, I had to get on them really quick. There are four key questions you want to ask yourself when you're choosing a kayak, with the first being capacity. Capacity refers to the angler's size, how much gear you're going to be taking with you. And for me personally, with this Tarpon 100, I'm a small person and it's a 10 foot bow and for the capacity, I don't really carry that much stuff. I'm pretty much a minimalist. I usually have a backpack with my gear and my rods. And with these hatches, you can usually store other stuff in it too. Next question you want to ask yourself is how maneuverable do I need to be? Now, out on the Chesapeake Bay, I don't need to be that maneuverable. So I'm using a much longer boat that isn't maneuverable. Whereas Callie in her Tarpon 100, she's on a river that has some class one, two or three rapids. She really needs that maneuverability, chooses a shorter kayak. The third question you want to ask yourself is, are you going to be standing and fishing? Now, stability relates directly to the width of the kayak, so the wider the kayak, the easier it is going to be able to stand on it, and there are kayaks made specifically for standing and fishing. 
When it comes to sanding and fishing, that's usually something that you're going to be doing in shallow water, so you want to take that into consideration also, the type of water that you're fishing. Last question you're going to ask yourself, how fast do I need to go? Now, if your fishery is one of a lot of expansive open water, like salt water or a larger reservoir, you're going to want a longer, skinnier kayak like the one I'm in right now. One of the smartest things you can do before making a kayak purchase is to attend a demo day where you can test paddles and kayaks. Jeff Little with Wilderness Systems Kayaks, wishing you more time with your line in the water.